Andy Johnson some simple phonemic awareness activities for older students. Phonemic awareness is the ability to hear sound parts or parts of the word. A phoneme is the smallest unit of sound. Now, technically, phonemic awareness is just about the sounds, not about the letters. And in general, these are discontinued when students are reading comfortably at the first grade level. In general, but students are not standardized products. So sometimes with older students, you do need some phonemic awareness activities. With these students, I tend to show the letters after they have identified the sound. Now, phonemic awareness activities should be part of a comprehensive approach to reading instruction. It should not be an approach or solution in and of itself. You want students reading real connected texts, real books, writing for real purposes. And phonemic awareness activities, I would say three to eight, no more than 10 minutes a day. Remember, it's part of a comprehensive approach. I recommend creating phonogram-based instruction. These are the 38 most common photograms. So create phonemic awareness activities based on these. And as always, adopt and adapt, and generally for students grades two and above, generally, phonemic segmentation. You see or you hear the word p pay, and they have to break it into parts. P a pay. Once they have done that, then I show students the word pay and break it into parts. P a pay. Day base day. So they hear it first, pay, and they break it into parts. P a. Then I show the word pay and they see the parts, p a pay day base day So I'm reinforcing that phonogram as well as phonemic segmentation. Phonemic categorization. Three words with similar sounds. They have to identify which word doesn't fit. Pill, pay, cram. Which word is not like the other? When they say cram, then I show them the three words. This works great if you're using a PowerPoint because you can just blip the three words down. All right, cat, clam, hill. That's right, hill doesn't belong. You can do it with beginning sounds, middle sounds, and ending sounds. Phoneme blending, listen to separate parts, put them together. What would you get if you put together these sounds? B, I, G and I would show the letters for older students. Again, PowerPoint works great with that. Phoneme identification, given three words, what's the same about all three of these words? Drill, drip, drop, and they're listening. Once they identify duh or draw, then show the three words. So they're hearing the sounds and I'm reinforcing letter sound association. Phoneme addition activity. Start with a phonogram, add a beginning sound to it. What word do you have if you add S, S to IP? S, IP, S, IP. And show them the letters then after they get SIP. That's right, SIP. Phoneme isolation. Recognize and identify individual sounds in a word. What's the first sound you hear in the word SIP? SIP. Once they say S, I would show them the word SIP, and I'd have that S. Uh, highlighted in red color. And phonogram, uh, phoneme substitution. Substitute one phoneme for another to make a new word. What word would we get if we changed the t sound in tip to r, r sound? Adopt and adapt. This should be part of a comprehensive approach. Three to eight minutes a day. Make sure you're reading lots of connected text at the independent level and below. Lots of real writing for real purposes.